Electronics. This video is a pure exam point of view video of direct firm realization of IIR filters or infinite impulse response filters. So we are going to realize the impulse response or transfer function of IIR filters using the direct form realization. So in this video, we are going to see the direct form 1 realization and in the next part or in the part 2 video, we will be seeing the direct form 2 realization. Okay, I am not going to uh, explain step by step. I am going to explain how to do this problem in your exams. That is an exam point of video. Okay, so first if you are given a transfer function like this, you can identify that this is the transfer function of a IAR filter because the output that is a y of n is depending on past outputs that is y of n minus 1 and y of n minus 2 and also present input that is x of n and past input. So hence it is very much evident that this is a transfer function of a IIR filter. So you have to do the real direct form one realization for a IIR filter. Okay, so you are given a transfer function like this in your question paper. So what you have to do as a step one, you have to take this x of n terms together. That is, I'll remove this. That is, you can write x of n plus 0 0.4 x of n minus 1. And you can take these two terms, that is x of n terms together and take an intermediate variable that is w of n. Okay. Now, so this is your original transfer function. And you have taken this x of n and x of n minus 1 terms together. And you have given an intermediate variable that is w of n. Mark this as equation number 1. So, you can replace these terms using equation number 1 in your original transfer function. Okay. So, you can rewrite your y of n as y of n equal to 0 0.5 y of n minus 1 minus 0 0.25 y of n minus 2 plus equation number 1 which is your w of n. So, you can rearrange or you can change your transfer function like this using your new variable which is your w of n. So, why we are taking this w of n is only to, uh, to have the realization easier. Okay. Now, we are going to realize this equation. What we will do is first we will realize w of n then we will realize the rest okay so i have uh, removed all the other things i have just kept these two equations that is the equation for y of n and the equation for your w of n here in terms of x of n so uh, i'm going to uh, now draw the block diagram that is my direct form one realization okay so before uh, drew, uh, drawing the block diagram the first thing you should understand is that your x of n is your input your y of n is your output. Now we have taken a third variable which is a w term and this is an intermediate variable. Okay, so how will uh, this y of n, x of n and w of n will come? So generally we are going to draw your x of n terms here and your y of n terms here and the w of n terms which is an intermediate variable which we have taken will come in the middle. So that in that way the uh, diagram or the realization will look like. So, first I will write my dx of n. Okay, so that is your input, right? Now, just have a look at your equations. Your w of n, okay, so I will write my w of n also here and at the end, that is at the output side. So, this is a general convention to have your x of n at this side, y of n at this side and w of n in the middle. Now, what is your w of n? W of n equal to x of n plus 0 0.4 x of n minus 1. So you have your x of n and now you want to create a x of n minus 1. So how do you create your x of n minus 1? That is the x of n minus 1 is nothing but x of n delayed by 1. Okay. So in order to add a delay, you use a z raised to minus 1. So this z raised to minus 1 will give you a Delay. That is, this is a transform. That is, is a transform raised to is a raised to minus one will delay your input by one. So it will give you your x of minus one. So now you got your x of minus one, and this x of minus one into there is a 
0.4 here. So this into 0.4. So this 0.4 is represented in this branch. Okay, so this is, is your x of n. There is no coefficients along with x of n. So the branch is having a coefficient of 1. If you want to represent 1, just give it or you can just ignore it. Okay, so then the next term is x of n minus 1. It is having a coefficient of 0 0.4. Okay, and these two things are added together. So give a summing input. Okay, so you have a x of n, you have x of n minus 1 into 0.4 and these two things added to give you are W of n. Okay, so that part of the realization is complete now. Now, the next part. The next part consists of terms of y of n, y of n minus 1 and y of n minus 2 are there. Okay, so you have your y of n. Now, you have to create y of n minus 1. In order to create it, just add a delay. So, your output will be y of n minus 1 here. Okay, so... Always try to add arrows to all the branches. So, it the, all the branches consist of arrows. So, whenever you are drawing branches, just mark the arrows. That is, in order to uh, in order to identify to which direction the branch is flowing or moving, just give arrows to all branches. So, here there is a y of n. The y of n will pass through this delay element and will give you a y of n minus 1. So, what is the coefficient of y of n minus 1? It is 0.5. So, there is a 0.5 here. Okay. So, this y of n minus 1 into 0.5 is added with another y of n minus 2 term. So, you have to again delay your y of n. So, another delay element. The output is y of n minus 2 here. So, the coefficient is minus 0.25. Okay. So, whenever there is a negative sign, take it along with your coefficients. So, minus 0 0.25 and these two things are given to a summing input. Okay, add arrows. So, it will look like this. So, y of n minus 1 into 0 0.5 plus y of n minus 2 into minus 0 0.25. Add it with what? It with your w of n. Okay. So, now this W of n and these y of n minus 2 into 0 0.5 and y of n minus, sorry, y of n minus 1 into 0 0.5 and y of n minus 2 into minus 0 0.25 will give you your y of n. So, this is your final form. So, this is how you can perform your direct form 1 realization. So, this is a very simple form of realization of IDR filters. The things you have to keep in mind while answering these questions, okay? This is a 100% sure question in exams, okay? So, you have to anyway prepare this topic before going to DSP exams. So, uh, you have to keep uh, some things in mind. First thing is, the input x of n will come this side, y of n on the other side and w of n is an intermediate variable. Now, in order to add delay elements, you have to add z raised to minus 1 blocks and in order to add any two variables or any two terms you have to give summing elements okay and also you should always give arrows to the branches and in order to indicate in which direction the branch is pointing okay so here you have taken your x of n you have delayed it and the when the x of n will pass through this delay element it will be x of n minus one and whenever you are multiplying any term with a coefficient just give the value of the coefficient on the branch through which the this term is flowing. So, here x of n minus 1 is moving or flowing through this branch. So, the weight of the branch is 0 0.4. So, it is coming here and it is added with the x of n to give your y of n. Sorry, the rw of n. Okay. So, next, here also y of n is delayed. It will give you y of n minus 1. Again, if you delay it, it will give you y of n minus 2. Then the branch coefficients or the weights are given on the branches. Then add it with the W of n and will give you your Y of n. So this is the direct form one realization. Okay, and we'll do another problem on direct form one realization. Next transfer function which we are going to realize today is 
this y of n equal to 2 r cos omega 0 into y of n minus 1 plus r square y of n minus 2 plus x of n minus r cos omega 0 x of n minus 1. So what we are going to do first? First we are going to take the x of n terms together and form my intermediate variable which is your w of n. Okay, so I am going to take this x of n minus r cos omega 0 into x of n minus 1 equal to w of n. Okay, so, so we have formed w of n, we have x of n and we have y of n. Now we can draw the direct form 1 realization of this transfer function. Okay, so as I said, I am going to write x of n, w of n and y of n. Okay. So this is a very simple way of doing. So you can do another uh, method if you have uh, another simpler method. But this is a simple method which I am following. It is first writing the variables then uh, making the delays and joining the terms together and finally forming the finally forming the result. Okay. So first what you need? You need a x of n. Then you need a x of n minus 1. So in order to form my x of n minus 1, what I am going to do is I am going to add a delay element here. My uh, result that is my variable when passing through the delay will be x of n minus 1. And the branch weight is here minus r cos omega 0. So I am going to write the branch weight as minus r cos omega 0. Now just give arrows. As I said, all branches should be given arrows. So, x of n, now plus, you have this value, will give you your w of n. Now, you have your w of n. Now, try to draw the y of n terms from that side. Okay, so first you need a y of n minus 1. So, for that, add a delay element here. So, here it is y of n minus 1. Now, y of n minus 1 is having a coefficient of 2r cos omega 0. So, this branch is 2r cos omega 0. Okay. Now, there is a summing element in order to sum your y of n minus 2 term. So, first form your y of n minus 2 term and another delay element and form y of n minus 2. Now, it is having a branch weight of r square. So, if the coefficient is having a negative sign means your, your branch coefficient should be negative. Okay, so here there is no negative terms. The coefficients are positive. So, it is positive and positive. So, this is added with this. Now, add these two values. That is this summer, summer is given to another summer or summing element. Now, the result will give you y of. So, this is your final block diagram for direct form and realization of this transfer function. I hope this is a very simple explanation of how to realize direct form one. Because uh, you don't need to follow any steps. Just uh, you have the transfer function. Then just start drawing the block diagram from the transfer function itself. First, form the w of n first. Then try to draw this x of n term. Form your W of n, then uh, try to draw from that side, that is your Y of n terms and add with this W of n and we will give you your Y of n. So this is how you can do direct form 1 realization of IIR filter transfer functions. Okay, so while rea realizing you have to keep uh, many things in mind. First thing is that you have to... Uh, you have to draw or place your variables accordingly that is x of n, w of n and y of n and also don't forget to give uh, arrows to all your branches and whenever you want to delay your input or any variable just add a z raised to minus 1 block that is a delay element and when your input or variable will pass through that element your variable will be automatically get delayed. Okay, so whenever you want to add two elements or two uh, terms place a adding element or a summing element okay so these things you have to keep in mind while realizing using direct form and realization 
Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed watching the video. You understood how to do direct form and realization and how to attempt such questions and exams. Okay, so please do share this video with your friend. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe to the channel. Thank you. We'll see you on the direct form to realization in the part two.